In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O God, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy, and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Together we praise God as we say, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise, for our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. Thus says the Lord, You shall not molest or oppress any alien. For you were once aliens yourselves in the land of Egypt. You shall not wrong any widow or orphan. If ever you wrong them and they cry out to me, I will surely hear their cry. My wrath will flare up and I will kill you with the sword. Then your own wives will be widows and your children orphans. If you lend money to one of your poor neighbors among my people, you shall not act like an extortioner toward him by demanding interest from him. If you take your neighbor's cloak as a pledge, you shall return it to him before sunset, for this cloak of his is the only covering he has for his body. What else has he to sleep in? If he cries out to me, I will hear him, for I am compassionate. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I love you, Lord, my strength. I love you, Lord, my strength. I love you, O Lord, my strength. O Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. I love you, Lord, my strength. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Praised be the Lord, I exclaim and I am safe from my enemies. I love you, Lord, my strength. The Lord lives, and blessed be my rock. Extolled be God my Savior, who gave great victories to your King and showed kindness to your anointed. I love you, Lord, my strength. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, you know what sort of people we were among you for your sake, and you became imitators of us and of the Lord, receiving the word in great affliction with joy from the Holy Spirit, so that you became a model for all believers in Macedonia and in Achaia. For from you the word of the Lord has sounded forth not only in Macedonia and in Achaia, but in every place your faith in God has gone forth 
so that we have no need to say anything. For they themselves openly declare about us what sort of reception we had among you, and how you turned to God from idols to serve the living and the true God, and to wait his Son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, Jesus, who delivers us from the coming wrath. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together, and one of them, a scholar of the law, tested him by asking, Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and first commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. There is a legend about a boy named Emmanuel who came from an African nation. He was always asking all sorts of questions, and one day he asked the question, what language does God speak? But no one could answer him. So he began to travel all over his country and ask the same question, but he could find no one who could tell him what language God speaks. Eventually, he went off to other nations and other continents to, for, in search of the answer. And one night he arrived in Bethlehem, and, as there was no room in any of the inns, he went outside the village to seek shelter. He arrived at a cave, but then he saw that it was occupied by a couple and their infant. He was about to turn away when the young woman spoke to him, saying, Welcome, Emmanuel. We've been expecting you. The boy was amazed that the woman knew his name, and even more amazed when she said, You have been searching the world over to find out what language God speaks. Well, tonight, your search is older, over, rather. Tonight, you will find that God speaks the language of love, which is expressed in sharing, understanding, mercy, and acceptance. The Pharisees, in today's Gospel passage, are trying to trip up Jesus. They are very concerned with nuances of language and following the letter of the law, all while ignoring or at least missing God's call to love. Jesus was a revolutionary figure who tried to put aside all distractions that had crept into the Jewish faith and to teach people the real language of God, the real relationship that God wants to have with us, that of love. Jesus' response to the Pharisees' question of which law is the most important is very simple. First, we must love God with our whole being, and second, we must love our neighbor as ourselves. On these two laws rest all the other laws. All the rules, as important as they might be, are nothing if we do not love God, our neighbor, and ourselves. It is this law that gives substance to our lives. When I was at a youth minister's conference in Colorado Springs back in 1994, a youth minister from Baltimore named Robert McCarty spoke about how everyone knows what Catholics are against even if they don't know why. And while all the things we are opposed to are undoubtedly important, we must ask, are they our focus? While people know what we are against, do, we know, do they know why we are against it? And do they know what we are for? Do they know what we believe to be true and to be good? If they don't, it's up to us to speak out in word and action so that people know that we stand for love, that we stand for life, that we stand for spreading God's love and life to all people. We do this through sharing the good news that Jesus came to bring. We do this through our sharing with the less fortunate the gifts that God has given to us, through working to understand one another, through showing mercy to others. 
We do this in our total acceptance of God's will for us in our lives. God calls us to be people of love, to be instruments of God's love in our world, to speak out against evil and injustice, and to do our part to bring about peace and justice in our world. This doesn't mean that we walk around looking down our noses at others or condemning others. It means we show others how to love through our example. In John's Gospel, Jesus says, By this shall people know that you are my disciples, if you love one another. As we seek to bring the gospel alive in our hearts and our lives, let us pray that God might allow the fire of his love to burn brightly in our hearts so that we might show God's love to all people and that God's love will be expressed in our love and in our service of one another. Together we profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Jesus has told us that we are to love God and our neighbor as ourselves. We turn then in loving prayer, asking God to bless people in our world today. For the church throughout the world, that we may reflect the love of God by loving people of all faiths, colors, and cultures, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace throughout our nation and our world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a deeper love of God in our community, that we may know God and that others may know God by our loving service, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our bishop-elect, William Byrne, as he prepares to leave his home to become our 10th bishop, and for his family, that God may guide them and give them peace during this time of transition, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For good health for Peggy Heights, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for all those who have died and gone before us in the faith of Christ, that they may enjoy the peace of God's kingdom, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for all of our parishioners who are confined to their homes and nursing facilities, for those who are sick, for those who care for them, and for all those intentions we now offer from the silence of our hearts. For these we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, we give you thanks for all you give us. Hear our prayers and help us to be instruments of your love in our world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory 
Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed humanity in your own image and set us over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Jesus Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, William, our Bishop-elect, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. 
as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs we may one day possess in truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to proclaim the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Oh.